Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told if a rock is thrown upward on the planet Mars with a velocity of 10 meters per second, its height in meters t seconds later is given by y is equal to 10t minus 1.86t cubed. And we're asked to find the average velocity over the given time intervals from one to some other time. So the way that we do this, the average velocity you can think of as the slope between these two points. So the points that we're going to have is going to be 1, and then the output of 1 in this function. So 10 times 1 minus 1.86 times 1 cubed. And for whatever other time we're picking x, it's going to be 10 times x minus 1.86 times x cubed. And so this is 1, and then calculating this, you get 8.14. And then for whatever other x you have, it's 10x minus 1.86x cubed. And once you have this, the slope, right, which is going to be the average velocity between these two points, is going to be the change in y. So 8.14 minus the second y value, 10x minus 1.86x cubed, over 1 minus x. And so this is the average velocity between the time of one second after a release to time x. And for the average velocities that we need, 2, 1.5, 1.1, 1.01, 1 .1, and 1.001, I have prepared the calculations. So these are helpful to, um, if you just want to pause here, you can look at the calculations. And so our values are roughly negative 3, 1, 3.8, 4.3, and 4.4. And we're asked what is to estimate the instantaneous velocity when t equals 1. So that means bringing the second number all the way down to 1, right? And what would we expect the velocity to be if we did that? And looking here at our values, we can see we start at negative 3 and then we have a big jump to 1, then a slightly less jump to 3.8 then a smaller jump to 4.36, then an even smaller one to 4.41. We can see that the jumps are getting smaller, we're approaching some value. And if we notice that it's jumping less and less every time, we can say, okay, maybe it'll be a little bit bigger than 4.4, but probably not too much. And we can say, okay, maybe it's approaching 4.5. And of course, this is just an estimate in meters per second but it's going to be roughly close to the actual value, um, which, if you were curious, was actually 4.42.